It's unusually quiet at the Jibowo area of Lagos State, a once busy hub for interstate transportation, mostly run by private operators. The facility, which serves as a major terminal for transport companies, goes cold following the ban on transport activities in the area. It is to follow up on the visit of His Excellency the Governor, uh, Mr. Kim Miyamodi, and was very displeased with what he saw, uh, particularly in the manner in which uh, the long buses, interstate buses, are using the main town. And what we have done so far is the initial announcement to say that henceforth uh, we will no longer allow uh, interstate bus buses to be along Ikorodu Road. Henceforth, they will have to go to the to Ojota and to Ojodubaja. Police officers and members of the state task force have been manning the area to enforce the government's order. Buses found on the road are towed away. The effect of the ban is obvious. Booking offices are empty, while transport workers hang around their offices helplessly. The Homer bus is about 20 million naira. Then we have about uh, 40 to 50 workers that you are paying lowest cost, 25,000 naira. For the past two days now, nobody is collecting any money. Even me as the owner, I'm feeling it because I cannot load to Abuja. Can, how can people coming from Victoria Island, Ikoi, Tojibo, we telling them to go to Ojota? Along this road now, you have you have family men, people that have responsibility, people that rely on the little 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 money they make here, and now asking them to, to vacate this place now to Ojota, it's just like you are asking them to start afresh. I might be young in this place, but I know very well that this place has been in operation for over 20 years, and this is a place governments are collecting money, they are collecting levies. The ban comes with a seven-day ultimatum, a timeline which is unacceptable to the operators. The most important thing is to give us notice of three months for we to take our property to the next place. We are not saying no, but give us chance. Two interstate motor parks at Ujujuberg and Ojota have been designated for operators to relocate. But none of the facilities seem to be in good condition to accommodate newcomers. While work is ongoing in some parts of the Ujuduberga Park, the Ojota Motor Park is filled with existing operators. In my own view, the place is very small to occupy those vehicles. At least, because long buses, even the small buses cannot... Uh, because our members are there operating right now. And uh, they are even occupying the space. So... Though there are construction going on there, I wouldn't know the plan of that construction. Maybe it's main for those uh, vehicles coming. I wouldn't know. It's three days to the deadline for operators to move. There are questions left unanswered, such as were all the operators informed before the ban? And how soon will the designated parks be ready to accommodate the newcomers?